at the 2021 GIE Expo. We're in Kentucky. We're at the Xmark booth. Look at this thing. This thing is dope. Look at this. I don't, I don't see no stander on this. Is there anywhere to sit on it? I don't see anywhere you can sit on this beast, bro. Look at these tires, dude. All right, I'm here with Nick at the Xmark booth at GIE Expo. This thing is insane. Look at this. Dude, tell us about this. So what you're seeing here is our vision for where autonomous robotic mowing is going. This is a, it's a concept, of course. Uh, it's gonna, it's a battery powered, all electric, fully autonomous mowing mower. It is a concept, it's based on some of the prototypes that you're gonna see over here. And we're, as we're progressing through the technology development, we're learning a lot of things. We're learning about the technology, we're learning about the business case, we're learning about safety. Safety is really, really big, but this is the ultimate vision where we see it going. So that was just a prototype. It's not actually for sale yet. You guys have these two right here. These Tell us about it, Nick. So these are also prototypes, just to be clear. These are our learning platforms, but these are actual functioning machines. So this one here is prototype number one. It's a, you operate it manually to program it, and then you basically push the button and it mows by itself. So think, think of it as a, as a uh, labor multiplier. You can do more work, because this one's doing that work for you. This one over here is just a different platform. We built the same technology, the same uh, you know, navigation and robotics technology on the Turf Tracer platform to experiment and learn about what the different platforms can do for you. Yeah. So this one you can use it manually if you want, yes. but it also does yep. autonomous? Exactly. Basically the way it works is you drive it in manual mode to program a boundary and you program the obstacles. And when you're done doing that, it maps its own route and it, it mows the yard for you. That's wild. Does they use like GPS? Or? Yeah, yeah. There's, we're actually using these platforms for all the different technologies. GPS, the obstacle de detection, LIDAR, radar. You know, we're evaluating all the different technologies. I'm so. picturing a guy in a lounge chair with a lemonade eating a sandwich <laughs> on yeah. his phone while yeah. the, the mower is doing the work. I, I've done that myself That's awesome, <laughs> while I've watched them work. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw the video, but we actually mowed our big X yeah. in our Xmark Park with this mower oh, okay. here. Yeah. And uh, then took a drone shot of it from above. It's, it's awesome. You gotta see it. So, so based off of uh, when do you think something like that will be? A it's real years away. It's years away. I mean, even these are, are with, you know, two, three years before. One of the things we're really evaluating is safety. Safety, 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 safety. It's got to come first. And when it's ready, you know, just like Darren said at the beginning, uh, when it's ready and when it when it meets our uh, Xmark standards, we'll put a badge on it. So, but safety is the big thing we got to consider right now. I love it, dude. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Hey, thanks for being here. That's Nick at Xmark.